G'day ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the Brash Bandicoot here playing some more Watch Dogs Legion's Bloodlines. Spoiler warning, I'm playing the whole thing, uh, side missions, all the story, so massive, massive spoiler warnings. Uh, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching, I hope everyone enjoys the video. Don't forget about the giveaway that's happening at 500 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is to subscribe and comment on a video, leave a joke, say hello, ask a question, just any comment, uh, and you'll go into the draw. The prize will be a 100 Australian dollar gift card for the console of the winner's choice. Uh, the winner will be picked from the subscribers list and announced once I've hit the target of 500 subscribers. And uh, the small twist is there's going to be two winners. So again, massive thank you to everyone watching. Uh, I'm going to shut up now and uh, let you enjoy the clip. All right, Ratchet, here's the job. It's Wrench. Wrench. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose to antagonize me. Wait a minute. Are you flirting with me, Jordy? Gonna ignore that. Job is simple, so even you'll find it hard to screw up. Client wants you to steal a car. I'm sending you the coordinates. Yeah. Pass. That's boring. Sorry, Mike Ranch, but the client specifically asked for you. And, oh yeah, they, uh, they're gonna tag along on the job, too. What? Uh, I'm not some glorified babysitter. Uh, they paid a ludicrous amount of crypto to ensure that today you are, so get to it. Wait, wait, who's asking for me? Is it a trap? Jordy? Jordy? Jordy! I see you've accepted the mission. Excellent. Step one is underway. Um, for the record, I'm an unwilling participant in whatever deep throat fantasy you're acting out of here, dude. Deep what? That's gross, man. No, it, it, it's an X-Files thing. You're gross. Whatever you say. The car I want you to steal should be nearby. Who the fuck are you? And why are you using a voice modulator? Ask the guy who's also using a voice modulator. Get the car, and maybe you'll find out. God, it's making my eyes bleed. I love it. Wait a minute. That music? This car? Are you? Oh my god. Don't tell me. You can't be! You know it, baby. It's the epic wrench and Marcus crossover the people have been asking for. Marcus? Marcus! Ah, oh, shit. That's almost better than what I thought. Wait, who the fuck did you think I was? I won't lie. I was kind of hoping you were Jimmy Siska. <laughs> No, but I do have a surprise planned for you in that van. This car is the car Jimmy Siska drives in the upcoming Devin Von Devin movie. Devin v. Devin. London Cully. Oh my god! Is Jimmy Siska gonna jump out of the truck? No, Reggie, you're killing me here. Drive to these coordinates and I'll fill you in. Alright, so first off, you going AWOL without a word to your boy was rude. You're gonna apologize to me later for making me worry about your stupid ass. Yes, Mom. Now, tell me what my surprise is. Please, please, please! So remember when that teaser for Devin v. Devin London Cullen dropped? Finally, Devin Von Devin was gonna return to our screens! Facing off against his evil British clone, Devin Van Devin, in an epic showdown of Devins. Yeah, but after the London bombings, filming got shut down and we couldn't finish the movie. Yeah, they were missing a few big stunts. But the car and all the sets are still here. Oh my god! You know me! It's up to us. We're gonna film those stunts and finish the movie! Fuck yeah, we are! One man stands in the way of humanity's destruction. 
Jimmy Sisko returns as Devin Vaughn Devin. I am back, baby. In his directorial debut, Sisko brings Devin Vaughn Devin to the merry streets of England where he faces off against his greatest adversary yet. I think you're seeing double. His clone, secretly grown from his DNA by the sinister spy agency Elite Shadow Force, Devin Van Devin. How can I defeat myself? Huh. The epic showdown is coming soon in Devin V. Devin. London calling. Oh, shit! That sounds so good! I am at half-mast! to do here i see a rat i see a car and if the answer isn't we're gonna jump a car i'm never speaking to you again hell yeah we're gonna jump a fucking car Insanely expensive or anything, right? I'm sure it'll buff out. We've got some more shots to do. Let's roll. Janet BFF Marcus Going to blow stuff up Yeah, yeah Going to Cyber 2 Driver Gonna be friends with Jimmy Sisko Okay It's rich again, huh? So how did you know I was in London? Just because you stopped talking to everybody Doesn't mean I didn't keep tabs on After you split with He who must not be named And can fall down well Yeah, touchy subject, I know I won't put you on blast for it Just... Are you all right? What are you doing here? I had unfinished business with Rampart. Remember that asshole? But right now, I'm gonna blow some stuff up and live out my Devin Von Devin fan fiction, and it's gonna be so epic. Hey, he's back. Let's light it up. Okay, this is the part of the movie where Devin clashes with Devin in their first big action set piece. A showdown of epic proportions. I can do a bigger boom. Let me have fireworks, please. Hey, you gotta run through and arm all the explosives that are set up. You need to be fast, though. If you take too long, they'll automatically disarm as a safety precaution. Speed run!
I got it! I got it. Marcus, Marcus, hit it! Hit it. So beautiful. I just came a little. Every time I think I'm used to you. Okay, I want star wipes on this, Marcus. We're making art here. Coming soon in the next chapter of the Devon Von Devon saga. You're not the man I thought you were, Devon. That's because it wasn't me. It was Devon, my evil clone. Yes. Yes. Using my fingerprints to fool the scanner. He has my fingerprints. He is me. Face it, Devon. You're being replaced by a superior version. I don't think so. Nothing beats American made. Hey, man. Do you think there's a chance that Devin v. Devin London Culling could end with Devin Von Devin losing? What? No way. There is literally nothing that can take Devin Von Devin down. Except for himself? Huh? Why else did they clone him? Who wins in a death match between Jimmy Siska and Jimmy Siska? It's an impossible riddle! But his clone is not the same as him. It's not actually Devin versus himself. It's like Alien versus Predator. You know who's going to win. Oh, fuck, not this again. The Xenomorph has acid blood! Marcus, it melts through the Predator's armor. Nah, fuck you. The Predator has a stealth cloak and thermal vision and fucking rocket launchers. The Predator is the greatest hunter in the galaxy. The Xenomorph is just big game. I am turning this car around, young man. Oh shit, where'd the knockoff Cylons come from? They're Rampart bots. And how do I get this guy off my ass? Well, they look angry and armed. Let's get out of here. Maybe we can find a different place to set up. No way. I'm not letting Rampart take Devin Von Devin away from me, too. The show must go on. Temperature is dangerously high. I came here to kick ass and eat tacos. And I'm all out of tacos. You want me to order you some? Drone will get here in just a few minutes. Marcus, you're ruining my moment. Extremely firm temperature. of their metal children. Woo -hoo -hoo! That's the money shot. Aw, oh, I guess there are robots in Devin v. Devin now. Hell yeah, dear. This is like a punch-up to the script. Maybe we'll get writing credits for improving the third act. <laughs> you know, I can see us looking fresh as hell on the red carpet premiere. And you'll add Star Wipes? And a Benga soundtrack. I got you, Reggie. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Ranch. Eh, you can get away with it. You coming home soon? Um, maybe. I've still got to do some stuff here. All right. But when you get your scrawny ass back to San Fran, hit me up. Everybody's been waiting to do a full crew hangout on the beach. Now, I won't lie. Sitar might want to chew your ear off for a bit. But it's with love, right? You know, it does sound nice. Thanks, man. You're buying, though. Am I? Yeah, just hurry up over there, all right? And once we get this movie out the door, you better not watch the new trailer without me. Mark it in your calendar. You, me, Devin, and Devin. I love you, man. I know. If I was a multimillionaire, I'd have a nice crib too. Wait, is she a billionaire? Greetings, Reginald Blackman. Ah, Jesus! Sky Larson is in the sitting room. Your fucking house knows my name? Whoa! Cool hologram! <gasps> is this about the Death Star plans? I need you to pay attention, Mr. Blackman. It's wrench. I know you have the broker bridge. <laughs> Moi? <laughs> okay, no, you're right. I am holding on. But just for safety, Scout's honor. Hmm. Because of your recent spat, Thomas Rempart has decided that if he can't have the broker bridge, he'll go right to the direct source. He's taken my deep labs hostage. I need you to clear out his forces and give me control of my labs back. Okay, I'm not even gonna get into how creepy it is that you know all this shit, but you said you could help Aiden? If you secure my labs, I'll help you revive Aiden Pierce from his coma. How? Do you know what the Deep Labs were built for? Why they're kept a secret? Bring the Broker Bridge to the labs, and I'll show you what it can really do. into a shitstorm here? Yeah, but this is what we gotta do to help Aiden. Why are you still risking your neck to help him, even though he's done bad by you? Because everybody deserves a chance to set things right, even after they fuck up. Like, I'm sure no matter how mad he is at you, your buddy in San Francisco wants you to call him back. Whoa, what? Hey, did you read my diary? No. Dude, you play those voicemails from Marcus all the time, on speaker. Just call him back. 
Trust me. Oh, okay. Uh, shut up! Sky said we needed to bring the broken bridge. She must not know you blew it up. What do we do? <laughs> yeah, about that. Get ready for me to blow your mind. Wait, is that the Broker Bridge? The other one was a fake? Fake Broker Bridge, real bomb. I stashed this one where no one could ever find it. In the Postal Service. Been in limbo circuiting the city this whole time. Nice. All right, let's get it to Broker Tech. I'm here. And they've definitely gone through a rebranding. Rempart's got his goons all over the place. You'll have to get through them to find a way inside. Don't worry. I'm wearing my ass-kicking pants today.
to the deep labs have been disabled. Remparts locked that whole level down. Don't worry, I know another way in. And it's a job for Lady Smash. posted around your workstations, don't you? You think those weapons are for decorations? What you're submitting to me is unacceptable. It's incomplete. You aren't working. You dare show your face here. Trying to take Sky's labs? Tisk tisk, Thomas. You know, you've got a real problem with stealing other people's shit and passing it off as your own. You
should have been flattered that your work was worth stealing. But just like your ex, I moved on to better. And just like his car, I'm gonna fuck up your shit with a sledgehammer. for Tommy. Your company's toast and you've got nothing. I made sure of it. Oh, I got exactly what I came here for. And your reckoning is coming. But for now, I can be patient. Next time I see you, I'm gonna peel the skin off your face. Slowly. Well, ladies and gentlemen and all other fine folk, with that, Monsieur Rempart has left the building. Excellent. Aiden Pierce is being transported here as we speak. You will need to reactivate the command system so I have access. The timeline you're requesting is unrealistic. It doesn't account for any pre-flight testing or even for a proper build. I don't like excuses. And that's all I'm hearing. If your team doesn't feel motivated enough, then one of you will get randomly selected to be a test subject. Hmm? until there's none of you left to complain. That's insane! You're insane! You know, I don't like that word either. There. You should be back in. Then we can begin. Gentlemen, shall we begin? You have the broker bridge. The system requires two users. The pilot who uses the broker bridge and the subject who is connected to the reader. This will allow you to interface with Aiden's mind. It will scan his brain and create a visual projection that you can engage with. And that's how I'll be able to revive him? Well, the hope is that you'll be able to communicate with him. And perhaps identify or repair any damage. How long does this usually take? I'm eager to find out. What, wait, wait, what? You, you mean you've never done this before? This is the first human trial. The most exciting phase of the project. God damn it, you fucking lied to us! You never cared about taking Rampart out of your labs. You just want us here to be your fucking guinea pigs. Semantics. Jackson, this is insane. Hey, there is no guarantee this is gonna wake up Abe. I, I, I say we, we grab him, we, we get the fuck out of here, and we'll find a better way. There isn't a better way. I have to do it. You could wind up in a coma too, or worse. Everyone deserves a chance. Oh my god, that sounds so incredibly profound. What the fuck does that even mean? It means I'm going in. For Aiden. Whoa. 
Where am I? Does this mean I'm inside Aiden's mind? As always, I want to say a massive, massive thank you to everyone who's made it all the way to the end of the video. I really, really appreciate you. Um, don't forget about the giveaway that's happening at 500 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is to subscribe and comment on a video. Anyone who is subscribed already is already in the draw. So, again, a massive, massive thank you to everyone watching. Uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed this video. And uh, let's get down to the brass tacks of things, shall we? If you did like the video, why not give it a like? Uh, share the video on social media to help the channel grow. That'd be really appreciated. Uh, if you really enjoyed it, why not turn the notifications on so you know when I upload or when I go live. So again, massive thank you. You guys have been fantastic. I've been the Brash Bandicoot. Uru.